Hello boys and girls from all over the world, my fellow modelers. Today I want to show you something donated by a Belgian company, Joe Fix, as you can see here on the screen. Yuri was so kind to donate us uh, some few examples what they have in their assortment. It's most of it based on uh, things for uh, to put on your diorama, like rocks, vegetation, plants, trees. And they are also uh, having some products like snow products so, and they're having one amazing product and that's their rust effect product and uh, that one in particular I wanted to share with you guys and I want to do then also a little demonstration of the product to give you an idea how it works but for that stay please tuned but for now I want to show you guys what you sended us here we have the 135 scale palm trees and uh, it contains two pieces of them and it is also uh, the, the European and African so no uh, Pacific so this is the desert palm let's say it this way I'm gonna open the box and show you guys what's in the box the nice thing what I liked about it is they they include and opening the box in front you guys they include everything you need to do a nice palm tree so it contains this here this here you put at the end of the palm tree these are resin pieces you have to glue together and this those hairs you add here course with some glue you add on these and here you have your paper laser cut pre-cut and also actually already colored you see a nice color variation that makes them look also more realistic the, the palm leaves themselves so all you do is have to cut them here out and then you get you have a wire <laughs> very nice of them to think about those things is this and these actually you glue on the stems of your uh, palm leaves to give it actually um, kind of some some strength and also you can it helps you later you see you can bend them nicely in the shape so as I said the cool thing is they include everything so you just have to uh, paint your stuff of course and uh, it's all ready to put on your diorama they have it also in 172 scale so they have all have many products in, in, in all different scales so this is for example this are the Pacific one to 172 the same system all nice all clu includes in one package so that's what I liked about it too so no more searching for other products all ready to go also they included some snow powder all manufactured in Belgium those things I will of course gonna try them out and uh, see what they do they included also a nice package of vegetations and these things they have a lot of variety of it uh, from different plants so yeah I recommend you guys to check out their uh, website yeah. to show you guys which one it is We also have grass toss, but in this case you see it has it, it looks like it has some flowers in and and things on them. Also nice cool looking. But yeah, as I said, the most important thing and what's the most amazing is is this product here. And that's their rust effect medium. I will uh, open the box and show you guys what's in it 
it contains two components. Component A, as you can see, and component B. This product is kind of, with this you can do all your rust effects. I found it so amazing, I'm, I'm having here a lot of rust uh, effect products, different brands and different types of things. But I need always a combination of many kind of products to achieve a decent rust effect. And the point is now, with this simple, these two products, you can create things like this. You see the different uh, color variations and shades and also the gritty and uh, grudgy look it has to create these effects. You know this one I did just now to try out. I just smudged it on and it's also there is small um, written manual included so, but it's actually very simple. I will demonstrate you the whole thing. So uh, take, uh, take a little drink already and uh, I'll be back in a second. You always start by shaking both components very well. Like take it a, a nice, a minute, nice, good shaking. And then you take, you open just like this, it has a, a, a brush already in the included in the bottle and then just simply you apply it like I did here for example here I apply some extra but make sure your surface is degreased the, so it doesn't have no grease because otherwise this product has difficulties so and that's usually with all products make sure your surface is degreased so it's nice and clean so you can apply your products nicely on so as I showed you guys here we're putting a few dots you know just just this is to demonstrate you guys how, how this product is working you let product uh, A let's say dry around the 10 minutes let it slightly dry and then you can add component B and that's the, the biting, the, co uh, the corrosive part so always uh, watch it, don't get this stuff in your eyes, you know and be careful with it so you just, again it has a, a brush in it, like this, like you can see and you take it, you just add it slightly liquid from component B on the component A what you did before and what was dry. Normally after all goes well after 10-15 minutes like here so but I did a bit before the recording because otherwise it's gonna be a, a waiting process you see already slightly discoloration. I did this and this part here, like you can see. And here I tried in smaller amounts, you know, like chippings. And here a bit like streakings to see the effect, you know. But here you see already a slightly a discoloration. Of course, this product you have to add layer by layer. And it takes usually minimum between three and four layers that you're starting to having a nice effect and then you can of course go further like I did in that wreck I showed you guys in the beginning of this video by adding extra layers and to give on certain spots of your model extra effects on, on, on certain places so as I told you guys it needs to be layered up and it always takes around three between four layers till you start to get a decent effect but after normally 10 minutes like here so 
you will see the first discoloration starts. And wait each time till your product is nicely dry before you then add some again, a bit extra, a slightly bit extra from component A, where you want to exaggerate uh, the color, make it actually darker. And then again, you add in component B. Each time you put a new layer of component B, that's a lighting component, let's say, the corrosive one, it starts to discolorate because you start with a yellow color first. You will see when as, as soon as it starts to dry that you're also having those nice transitions of colors and all smooth and then and richness of the colors. But that can be only achieved by putting layers and of course with this product you're gonna have to have a little bit patient and let everything nicely dry before you're adding another layer. But uh, at the end results, the, as you can see, I showed you on that track, is really amazing. Just this product does all the work of, of many products uh, together. So uh, I'm very satisfied with it. I'm actually proud of it. It's a Belgian product. And then really it's like, it's, it works, it's easy to use, just only key, have a bit patience. So I will demonstrate you guys further later. I did a little experiment in the ways of, of uh, applying it. And this is the result from one layer. And at least two days... Uh, proper drying time. As you guys can see that this part is one smooth layer. Here I try to mimic kind of like a chipping but this I did with a, a bit thicker layer. You know just to show you guys uh, the, the, the difference from effects you can create. This one I did with pre-diluted a bit and that's a kind of a 50-50 ratio, half-half actually, from each component. But don't mix up the whole bottle in once, you're gonna waste it. So mix up every time a bit just enough to, for your job actually, for your work you have to do. So in here, as you can see guys, I tried to do, just to see how much I could manipulate it, to try some, some streaky movements, like this, you know, you see it. And here is again, that, yeah, let's say that chipping. And this, specifically this part, I did more with the dapping motion, like, like so. This is after two, three days around uh, drying. But I did, in the meanwhile, also another vehicle, another wreck, and tried out different methods. As you guys can see, there is a bit more color variation than the previous vehicle. And let me explain you why. Because this is two layers. This is already the lighter colors, like those tiny lights, yes, streakings, are the result of, again, a second layer of pre-diluted. I applied it like this, you know, like with a streaking motion. But as you can see, a bit randomly and didn't went all over the thing. You know, that it stays natural for the eye. Try to always to make things look random, very important. So this is actually to give you guys an example of what happens when you apply the second layer. And then you can play with the different shades and tones of the rust color. And as last in this experiment, 
This is the third and the last example. Here you, we see the effects of more than four layers. Actually the point was from this showing you guys uh, the effect of one layer, two layers and this is more than four. So this is more suitable for extreme decay. This you achieve by building the layers up. Now to round up in my humble opinion, this product is amazing. It replaces a whole arsenal of different products. It does not much take big effort to achieve a realistic effect. But the absolute key in this is patience and play around. You know, dare to experiment, you know, and uh, dare to fool around with it. So you can uh, sharpen it. And then, yeah, you can use it on, on tinier uh, objects. Check out uh, the link below, there is the website. So go and check for yourselves what those guys have in their arsenal. And I have to also announce this Sunday me and uh, Andy going uh, to a model show. And there we're gonna interview Joe Fakes. So stay tuned. So that's it and I wish you all a pleasant day wherever you are. Stay all safe and well. See you next time guys. Bye.